Welcome to step two in our five-part series on building an Active Directory domain controller in the Azure, Microsoft Azure. Uh, step one, uh, if you haven't done it already, we needed to go ahead and create a virtual network. So if I go down to networks, I can see that I successfully created an MIIM, Master IT in Minutes, virtual network. I'm now going to go ahead and create my virtual machines. I'm going to create one, and then what you need to do is just follow the same process to create the second. However, as we do this, we're going to create some specific things that you will choose for the second server. So I'm going to go into create new server, virtual machine, and I'm going to use from gallery. At this point, I'm going to select the standard Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Edition as my virtual machine. I will use the current release date, and I will give it a virtual machine name of MIIM DC01. I'm going to go ahead and change the size. You don't necessarily have to. I'm going to give it a username and a nice complex password, especially since this server is going to be sitting on the web. Once I'm done with that, I'll choose next. Create a cloud service. So if you need to know what this is, just go ahead and click the question mark next to it, and you'll get a nice detail. Now, I don't want to call my cloud service um, what the domain controller is called, so I'm going to call mine the MIMM Cloud. I'll choose the region. Now, this is the key here, folks. What I want to choose is my virtual network. That way, as you can tell here, my virtual network is going to get the subnet that I created so that these machines are on the same subnet. I can use an automatically generated storage account. The next time I go through this, I'm going to want to make sure that I choose the, the storage account that is generated for this machine. For availability set, I'm going to say create an availability set and go on to the next. Availability set name, I'll give it a name of MIIM avail set. I'm going to install the VM agent and choose OK. And it's going to go ahead and install the machine. Now I'm going to pause while it does this because we have one more step we need to do, and that is to create a separate disk that we're going to have to use for the AD database, the AD logs, and the AD sysvol. So let me pause this and we'll be right back. So as you can see, it's pretty quick. The MIIM DC001 has finished provisioning. It's now starting up. Once it starts up, we'll be able to attach a disk. All right, so once our server is up and running, we can go ahead and attach a disk for the sysvol and other Active Directory files, the database, etc. The way we do that is to choose Attach. We're going to attach an empty disk. It's going to give it a file name. It's going to tell us what server it's attaching to, and we're going to give it a size. In this case, we're going to say 10 gigs. Choose OK. You'll see some other things going on here, but as you can see, it's attaching an empty disk. And once we see that it's just running and not updating, we'll be able to go in and assign that disk to the virtual machine to prepare it for Active Directory. So we'll take a look at that in the next video. When we prepare for Active Directory, we'll go ahead and prepare the disk first. Until then, take care.